Sometimes in Photoshop, when we make our selection masks, we want to clean up the jagged edges that the Quick Selection tool or other tools have. To do that, we can use the Select and Mask workspace. To get to there, click any of the selection tools and you will see Select and Mask. Alternatively, you can go to Select, Select and Mask. All of these images are public domain images from the New York Public Library online resources. It is a great place to find images that are in the public domain for your projects. Once in the Select and Mask workspace, I like to use the onion skin with a medium transparency. Press Command plus to zoom in. Press the spacebar to move the image around. With the Quick Select tool, merely paint in the area that you want to keep. We can look at the different views. If I look at on black and zoom in, I can see that it is a good selection, but there are still some stray marks and jagged edges that we can clean up very quickly with some of the sliders to the right. We can smooth it out just a little bit, and then we can feather the mask. And you may think that we are feathering the pixels and losing information, but we're only feathering the mask it is just the mask that is feathered, not the actual pixels. So now we can raise the contrast of the mask. And here we have a nice clean selection without having to do any corrections to it. Once we have all the settings the way we want, we can choose our output settings. In this case, I'm going to click new layer with layer mask. Let's see that on a different image. Here we have a great image of milkweed from the New York Public Library. Once again, go to the Select and Mask workspace, then use the Quick Selection tool to quickly make your initial selection. Remember to hold the Option key to correct your selection. Once the selection is close, use the sliders on the right to feather out the mask and then use the contrast to crispen it up. You'll have to adjust the settings for each image individually so you preserve the amount of detail you want and have a very sharp mask. Once you're done, click the output settings of your choice and then export it to a new layer with a layer mask. Once again, from the New York Public Library, we have this cool image with some chain mail. Go to the Select and Mask workspace, use the Quick Select tool to quickly make a selection, then use the feather and contrast sliders to sharpen your mask. Once it is to your liking, use the output settings and then export it. With this technique, you can make selections for many images in Photoshop for later collages 